Hey everybody, I have a Walmart grocery haul for you today. Today is Saturday, the day before Christmas Eve, and I was really anticipating the store or expecting the store to be crazy busy. In fact, I wasn't sure if I was going to go to Aldi or Walmart or Market Basket because I figured it would be really busy being Christmas weekend, and to my surprise, it wasn't. It wasn't. So a lot of this stuff um, on this haul is stuff that you've seen me buy before. Some of it is stuff that my son wanted um, me to get. Yeah, so if you're new to my channel, for the past couple of years, my channel has been about just a single one income household, but my son is out of the Navy and he moved back home temporarily while he establishes his new, um, new life and new future um, post-military. So, um, he gave me some money and said, hey, get me this stuff. So anyways, let me get to what I got. So I got another loaf of bread. Um, usually, before he moved home, I wasn't buying bread because a loaf of bread won't last in my house. But it definitely is lasting or even running out now that he is back home and going to work and packing lunches for himself. So I got another loaf of bread. Then I got a pack of mozzarella cheese. Just your right value brand mozzarella cheese and I bought that for a specific reason that I will tell you about. Um, hell of a good French onion dip. I like this not only in potato chips but I like it with raw vegetables, cooked vegetables and this is really good on a baked potato. So try that on a baked potato. I got three of these little pies from Walmart. This is the little single serving apple pie. Actually, you can get two servings out of this, whether it's you stretching it out as a single um, person with two servings or sharing it with somebody. So again, there's the apple and this is the lemon pie and a blueberry pie. Is that upside down? Yes, blueberry pie. And these are good um, through Two of them good through January 2nd, and the other one is good through the 3rd. You can freeze them also. Got Swiss rolls. When my son was in high school, he would eat these all the time. All the time. I'm not sure if he's still eating them, but I picked those up as a little surprise treat for him. Uh, let's see, what else? Got... Land Lakes White American Cheese. He's a big fan of this cheese. It's not bad um, at all, I must say. They're good in, well, this is good in grilled cheese, grilled cheese with tomato, or just snacking on cheese. He's always liked that. Bananas. Whoops. Bananas. Just your basic banana that I always get. As I've said before, I like to get my bananas a little green so that they last a little longer on my counter. And oranges. Just your basic navel oranges. They were 88 cents. 88 cents. Um, I don't know if it was 88 cents each. Whatever. It's fine. Five of those. And blueberries. Blueberries. As always, I tell you, I put them in a bag to prevent a blueberry catastrophe because I've lost blueberries all over the store all over my car, all over my floor, and yeah. So anyways, when I buy them, I stick them right in a bag. Then, mushrooms. Always getting the mushrooms. I got them specifically for something else this time, not just sauteing, and I'm going to tell you about that in a minute. Um, the 12 count, great value brand, Columbia K-Cups. Eggnog. I didn't get a half gallon of eggnog because it's well over five dollars right now and so I just got a um, quart and that's for my son. I really don't drink eggnog. It is good once in a while but anyways, grape jelly, grape jelly, another thing of mayonnaise and I didn't have any really, really have any pasta in the house and I wanted to make some spaghetti, specifically American chop suey. Um, so I bought some elbows. Chicken broth. I always like to have this on hand to make a soup or to cook some chicken in it in the pan. I like to, you know, add a little chicken broth to it when you cook it. 
running out of spots here. I don't even, I can't even remember what I already showed you. I showed you that. Okay, so I always keep canned tuna, canned chicken, but I'm going through tuna like crazy because my son really likes um, my tuna fish. So I got two of the chunk light in water and three of the chunk light, chunk white albacore tuna in water. So yeah. Next, I got, usually don't buy this. This is the Purdue Shortcuts 100% Natural Grilled Chicken. Bought that, it's a large family size. And I bought that because I bought this. Traditional crust, extra large, market side, five cheese pizza because my dad is coming over tomorrow, Christmas Eve, and he wanted to bring a pizza. And I said, Dad, why don't I just make a pizza? So he's coming over tomorrow. I'm going to make a pizza, and then we're going to go to the Christmas Eve candlelit service. But I bought all kinds of stuff to put on this pizza, which is why I bought, everything's gonna go crashing on the floor in a minute, like the pie. Anyways, that's what I bought this chicken for, um, to put on this pizza. And, I, I, oops, sorry, are you surprised it's not canned chicken? Yeah, I wasn't gonna put canned chicken on this pizza on Christmas Eve. If it was just me, I probably would have, right? Yeah, but anyways. So what else? That's what I bought the mushrooms for. Bought the mushrooms to go on the pizza. And I also bought this bag of great value pepper and onion blend. Now they had fresh um, yellow, orange, and red peppers, but the Walmart didn't have any green peppers. And I wanted to put green peppers on this pizza. So I found this. And I'll probably just use half of the bag. It's a large bag, and I'll just, you know, put the rest in the freezer. But that's going on the pizza, too. And that's what I bought. Excuse me. That's what I bought, the extra thing of mozzarella cheese, just in case I want to put a little more cheese on top. So, yeah, I'm going to dress up that pizza. So, also, my son asked me for Trix cereal. Trix cereal. That's not something he usually asks for. He usually asks for cinnamon toast crunch or whatever, frosted mini wheats, but he, he said tricks. So I got him a family size of tricks. And I got a bag of Cool Ranch Doritos. And I already showed you the eggnog. <laughs> gallon of milk, gallon of milk, cran grape, Got a big thing of cran grape. This was four dollars and fifty-eight cents. The um, the smaller ones, so it's two quart, were I think two ninety-eight. So so two ninety-eight times two. It's like rounded up to three and three is six. This is four ninety-eight. So and it's what is it? Three liters. Whatever. I thought this was the better buy. Maybe not, but I thought it was. And then I got two more things of paper towels. I'm going through a lot of paper towels lately. I'm going through a lot of paper towels because I don't have any napkins. So I should have stopped at the Dollar Tree and got some napkins. But I didn't. So, yeah. This is my Walmart grocery haul. And it's mostly things that my son needed. And he's out right now. Um getting his car worked on. So, just so you know, and I don't think I need to explain to you, my son does carry his own weight while he's here, and um, I'm glad my son went into the military. Not that he was a bad kid before when he got out of high school, but someone that has military experience, I feel, conducts themselves in such a way not saying that other people are disrespectful, but, and I don't know if I'm explaining this right, but military, being in the military really instills something in you. And someone told me, you know, I might not enjoy having, 
an adult kid move back in after being alone for so long. But it's almost like it's it's not bad. It's not bad having my son home. I'm glad my son's home. I'm glad that he is bettering himself, building a future for himself. I'm glad he has that military experience. He gets up in the morning, goes to work. He's out the door by 6.30, maybe by even 6.15. He's, doing, he's working a good job now, and he's just, he's a joy to have home. I missed my son. I'm glad he's home, but I know that it's not forever. He's building a life for him and his girlfriend and um, establishing a place to live. Anyways, Got off my Walmart haul, gone on a soapbox top and talking about having your kid go into the military. It's a great thing. It's a great thing. But I wanted to show you that before I went to Walmart, I went to Big Lots because last week I, or the week before, I did a video about um, creating inexpensive um, gifts for Christmas. And one of them had um, this lotion in it. It was a winter fur lotion and it had the soap in it. I'm telling you that this lotion, this hand lotion, this winter fur 99 cent lotion is fantastic. Fantastic. I went and I bought myself three more of them. It smells so good. This has, it's, it's that Christmas pine smell and I don't know if I put this over my whole body and I would be smell like a Christmas tree, but it smells like a Christmas tree. It is so silky on your hands. It makes your hands so soft. So I bought three and I'm hoping the smell doesn't go away um, or fade away before I use it all because it is, it's great. I, I really wish that you could smell this. It smells so good. It smells like a Yankee candle, Yankee candle, Christmas candle. It smells so good. I love it, love it, love it. Put it on my hands before I go to bed and I'm smelling Christmas as I fall asleep. And then I got myself my mascara at Big Lots along with the lotion. So yeah, that's my grocery haul, my pretty much son's grocery haul. And you know what? He did give me the money for it and yeah. Not only is he pulling his own weight, he's helping his mother out a little bit, and that's great. Thank you for watching this crazy grocery haul, and me um, just going off, running my mouth a little bit. But anyways, thanks for watching. Have a great day. Happy Saturday. Happy Christmas weekend. I'm going to try to get out there and do something special for you guys that I've been thinking about doing kind of a Christmas wish for you. So... Try to get that going and look for that later, okay? All right. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye.